Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Wild weather weekend ahead. We're going to have a little bit of everything, it looks like, from spring-like conditions today to possibly flash flooding and even severe weather by the end of the weekend. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so let's get right into what's going to happen. So, pretty complex setup here. You can see the overall view here. Um, really interesting front. Got a series of low pressure systems that will be tracking along the front. And the big story today, it is super, super warm out there today. Um, here we are. It's already, let's say, uh, I'm recording this around 9, 10 in the morning. Let's just take a quick look at the temperatures because I'm going to turn off the satellite imagery. We're going to turn on the temperatures. And while we're in the 50s right now, that's already above our average high for the day. And it's only 9 a.m. So as this warm front surges to the north, don't be surprised if we see more breaks in the sun, which I'm seeing already, that temperatures spike up into the low 70s. Our average high again is 55 degrees. So it is going to be a pretty warm day. It will feel like spring. And when you feel like spring, you start wondering, are we going to see severe weather? Let's look at that severe weather risk today. You can see there it is across Texas. We got a medium to low risk. We'll go to Super Bowl Sunday, pushing off to the east. Most of the Gulf Coast is under that risk. And then we go into Monday. Monday severe weather risk. Look at this. We've got a medium to low risk. And some of that does include parts of the Charlotte area. So a three-day severe weather set up here starting in Texas and then moving off in this general direction. That's going to put most of the Carolinas at least in some of the risk for severe weather, but severe weather isn't even going to be, I think, our biggest issue. I think it's going to eventually be some flash flooding issues. So let's talk about the flash flooding. All right, let's talk about the flash flood risk. You can see the, the low to medium risk for flash flooding today. Let's go to tomorrow. You can see that low risk, again, for flash flooding does include most of the western part of the Carolinas. We'll go into Monday, and you can see all of the Carolinas in the low risk. So there is that potential for flash flooding. So let's get right into the future cast. We'll try to get you through Monday and then talk about some of the, uh, maybe some of the totals we could see by the end of the weekend. All right, let's get right to the future cast. You can see most of today, Saturday's the best day of the weekend. You're going to have some really nice weather. In fact, we could be in the low 70s, breaks of sunshine, really all in all. Through the afternoon hours, I'll stop it at 5 o'clock. We could see some showers move into the mountains, but I'll be honest with you, most of the rain chances aren't until after 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. So daylight hours are great. We go through time overnight tonight into the wee hours of Sunday morning. So Super Bowl Sunday, we wake up. There's probably going to be some pretty good rainfall, and especially in the mountains and foothills where the actual like line of no rain and rain is going to be kind of tough. But there's likely going to be rain when you wake up Sunday morning, and it's going to be persistent. Through the middle of the day i'll stop this around noon it's still pouring we'll go into mid-afternoon there's going to be a lull at some point so maybe right before kickoff there's a little bit of a lull but don't let your guard down because look what's back to the west this is where the severe weather risk is going to be tomorrow down in this area and this is going to be pushing off to the east so there's going to be another surge of moisture that comes in sunday night so we'll go through six seven eight of the football games on we'll go later and then after the game oh big surge of moisture so another wave. So there'll be breaks on Sunday, rainy most of the day, break maybe for mid to late afternoon, and then more rain through the evening that will go into the overnight into early Monday. And then Monday morning, you can see, okay, there's another lull that develops Monday morning, but there's more rain developing back here. And again, this is going to be beyond the range of our 48-hour guidance here, but um, you get the idea. There's going to be another big surge of moisture coming in starting Monday, and that will be wave three, if you will, of rain moving into the region. So it's gonna be a pretty good soaker on Monday. And Monday's the day we gotta watch for, I think, the, the heaviest rain and possibly severe weather, though that risk looks to stay to the south. And I'm gonna show you why here as we look at some of the parameters. So just a quick glance over at the significant tornado parameter, kind of an, a composite index that shows a lot of parameters for severe weather, I just not tornadoes. I look for just ingredients in general. And you can see as we go into Sunday evening, uh, down to our south, we do have some of the ingredients there, but not much over the Carolinas. Now, as we go to Monday, um, this is going to be early Monday morning, we start to see those parameters kind of reloading down here. And this will be the area we're going to watch for potentially um, some severe weather. So down in there is where we're going to be watching. Um, and looking at some of the, the some of the soundings, I'm just quickly looking at, we do have some turning of the wind. So definitely the potential down in that area that we're going to have some strong storms. How far north they get, I think that's the big question. Now, the amount of rain we're going to see could be pretty prolific. We'll go through time here, and this is the blend of models just to show you um, as we go into, let me slide this down just a little bit so you can see it. So this is through Sunday, um, or excuse me, through Tuesday morning. So basically back this up just a little bit just to show you 
you know, Sunday morning, that's the rain through Sunday morning. We'll go to Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, Monday morning, 7 a.m., and then Monday afternoon, and by Monday night. So you can see there's a big surge of moisture coming in Monday into Tuesday because some of these totals, again, range from anywhere from as little as one but as high as three inches of rain. So this is going to be a real soaker, and a lot of this will probably happen on Monday um, the more I look at it. Um, and let's just look at the Weather Prediction Center's kind of output. You know, day one, day two, day three, you know, this gets us through Tuesday. You get the idea, two and a half inches of rain in Charlotte, almost three inches to the west and some inches, some areas near four inches. So this is going to be a real big soaker that's going to be heading our way over the next couple of days. So enjoy today. Today is going to be great. Uh, this system's going to really crank up and head our way. You can see the upper system back over Oklahoma. Yeah, there's a winter weather side of this that will produce snow in the mountains. But right now for our area, it would just be some mountain snow on the back side of this by Tuesday, uh, maybe Monday at the earliest. Um, and again, once we get beyond this system, we'll start looking at next weekend, potentially a favorable storm track for snow for the mountains. Not sold on snow east of the mountains yet. There's really nothing that says snow outside of the mountains yet, but it is a pattern that it bears watching. And of course, we'll have updates throughout the next week or so, but it's way out there beyond the seven day range. So we'll focus on our heavy rain and severe weather threat first, and then we'll get into the chance, maybe of some wintry weather, maybe our last chance as we go into next weekend.